the synthesis of esters. In this lab, the first part, you will be turning salicylic acid into aspirin. And the second part, you will be preparing esters to identify an unknown alcohol using your nose. Um, one warning for this lab is you are not allowed to take home the aspirin you make and swallow it. You guys have to figure out what else is in the aspirin tablet to eat at home. Of salicylic acid. Then add 5 ml of fresh acetic anhydride, followed by 10 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. You swirl the flask to mix thoroughly. After the mixture has been in the water for about 15 minutes, swirling occasionally, um, remove it from the water bath and allow it to cool near room temperature. This should take about three minutes. Uh, once fruit crystallization is complete, you need to add 40 ml of ice cold DI water. You also could add some ice um, to the mixture if they are crystallization. Once all the ice is melted, then you can collect the crystals by vacuum filtration. Once the crystals have finished forming, then you collect them by vacuum filtration, trying to pour the crystals in the center of the filter paper so not many crystals go through to the bottom of the glass. which corresponds to the following alcohols. In each test tube, place 30 drops of the appropriate alcohol. Once you've added the alcohol, acetic anhydride, and sulfuric acid to each test tube, you now need to heat the test tubes in a hot water bath and grease them in there for 10 minutes. When you put them in the ice bath, make sure the test tubes don't fall over. With agitation to mix well, Add approximately 2 ml of sodium hydroxide solution to neutralize the sulfuric acid and the acetic acid formed in the reaction. Um, you have to add enough to smell the esters, otherwise the acetic anhydride is going to mask the smell of the esters. With a Pasteur pipette, touch the bottom layer and drop it onto the pH paper to check that the pH paper turned blue, indicating a basic solution. Once you've added enough sodium hydroxide to neutralize the, all the acids formed, use a Pasteur pipette to suck up some of the bottom layer and to check the pH with pH paper. If the reaction is completely neutralized, you should see blue forming on the pH paper.
function properly and avoid getting a nose full of smell, you need to use a Pasteur pipette, suck a little bit of the top layer off, and then place a few dots on the filter paper. Then you will use a technique known as wafting to smell a little bit of your solution and not get a burning sensation in your nose. 